up guys this is Freddy here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a WordPress blog site from scratch a step by step all right this is a video that is going to help anyone even somebody new with no experience how to build a WordPress site like the one you are watching uh, or you are seeing right now my blog you can uh, you know do the same thing or even a better job than me all right so in this video you will learn how to choose and buy a domain name how to buy and set up a hosting account how to install the WordPress blogging platform how to install a good theme for your blog site how to install the right plugins and what you know the necessary plugins that you need uh, I'm going to teach you all of that and finally you are going to learn how to monetize your blog so you can make the most money out of your blog and well at the end of the day you are going to set everything up and get blogging so these are the things that you are going to learn in this video so pay attention pull out a notebook take notes and if you are somebody completely new to you know making a blog and, and blogging don't worry about it don't worry about anything you are going to learn everything because I'm going to put everything simple and I'm not going to take a lot of time I'm not going to make a long video uh, you are just going to watch me watch over my shoulder how I do everything so get ready to do that all right get ready to learn all right so get ready to take some notes and pay close attention I'm going to make this video very quick I'm not gonna take a lot of your time uh, I'm, I want to make everything simple to follow and you know the way to do that is to keep you know simplicity here so I'm going to show you over my shoulder exactly how to you know set everything up uh, block from scratch you know get the domain you know get the hosting then install the WordPress site the uh, blogging platform install the theme install the plugins and then get ready to start blogging all right so uh, it, it, this is my main blog you know the blog that I have and it, it, you know you can see how the blog is you know and model after me if you can you know do the things that you see here because uh, that's the best way for you to learn you f you follow somebody that is doing it in the right things you know and I'm doing the same thing I'm following the successful bloggers online so as you can see I have a pretty cool site and I'm still building it I'm still taking it to success so uh, you know it's very important that you pay attention to the, the things that other people are doing so now if you are doing uh, you know if you're somebody more advanced online you know you're not a complete newbie like most of you watching this uh, and you want to do a, a keyword research for your domain name uh, you know you should use a uh, keyword tool like the Google Keyword tool or uh, the Google Keyword Planner tool now a brand new uh, Google tool keyword tool that they have so uh, what you want to do is come to the Google AdWords Keyword Planner and in here you can do a keyword research for your domain name you know that that is if you are doing a research on your you know if you want to you know be more specific and more technical about things and you know about SEO and you know about exact match and you know uh, domain names you know if you want to rank for a certain keyword in your niche and you want to buy a domain name or you know for your blog and you let's say you are going to be talking about dating or you know uh, traveling or you know or maybe uh, you want to build a blog about food you know you want to talk about recipes you know you want to share your your thoughts and stuff like that uh, but at the same time you wanna you know rank you want to you know rank in the search engines and get traffic from the search engines and you have learned a little bit about SEO so you might want to use a keyword for your domain name so you know let's say that you are writing about food recipes so you come here you do a research and you pick you know you choose a uh, low competition keyword so you, you know so it should be easy for you to rank for the for that keyword you know uh, don't use a long domain name you know use something short short and sweet so uh, people can remember your domain name it's easy to go to and you know and stuff like that so make sure you always uh, 
you know keep everything simple so do your research so you can come up with it with your dom domain name uh, for more details on that just follow this blog so you can know more about you know keyword research before you buy your domain all right but you know to keep everything simple uh, you know just choose any uh, any domain name any name that you want uh, you know it could be your own name if you want uh, and and feel free to you know the one the the one domain extension that I recommend would be dot com because you know it's the most popular extension dot com you know uh, my blog is dot uh, com internet marketing blog one hundred one dot com uh, and there are all different prices for that so you can get a cheaper one if you can't afford like you know a dot com is like ten dollars a year and if you can't afford ten dollars right now you could uh, either get a free free site uh, I'm gonna make another video on that uh, or you can pay like you know three four five bucks to uh, for a that info or that US blog uh, domain extension uh, so uh, the once the, the one site that I use for domain names is GoDaddy so you come here and you create an account before you buy anything you know you want to have an account with GoDaddy I recommend you to make an account and then search for the domain name that you want to use let's say uh, you want uh, let's put your your blog domain name here dot com all right so you search for the domain name that you that you want and see if it's available you know and then buy it you know this one right here look your don't your blog domain name here dot com it, it, it's uh, thirteen dollars but you can get a cheaper one uh, you know for you know with a different extension domain extension you know that net that org at that net is cheaper ten dollars uh, usually uh, look that info do extensions are uh, three dollars that's pretty cheap so you can get started in any way you want you know you pretty much you can take any blog to success and I'm going to teach you how so get the domain name pick your domain and then get a hosting account from HostGator this is the one I recommend again you can you know you can use GoDaddy for everything for the domain name and the hosting but the one I'm going to be talking about is HostGator because it's the one I use and you know it's pretty cheap as well and the service is not bad it's good alright so uh, get a get a uh, hosting account over here and you should be able to see a link somewhere around this page below the video so get a hosting account and then I come back to GoDaddy.com and you know so you can set up the domain name one thing that you should know though when you buy a, fr uh, a brand new domain name sometimes they will tell you to wait a couple of hours before you can you know access your domain name and change things around so uh, you should check your email once you buy the domain name and just wait a couple of hours you know maybe take a walk or go eat something take a break and then come back and and do this alright so and once you have a, a host host gator account log in to your cpanel you know follow everything that they tell you check your email for instructions now you should be able to come here to your cpanel your host gator control panel and here is where you are going to have access to everything in your site and this is what you are going to use to install wordpress in the site uh, we are going to use a software called Fantastico Deluxe so once you are in your back office in your host gate or control panel scroll down and and go to the section that says software and services and then look for the uh, smiley face and click on it it's called uh, Fantastico Deluxe so you click on that and uh, that's what we are going to use to install WordPress but before we do that uh, I need to tell you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain name to your HostGator service to your hosting service which is HostGator so once you have bought the name the domain name you want to go to your account visit my account and then you want to uh, launch you want to click on the domain name that you that you have that you just bought right so uh, in this case I'm just gonna use one for example so once once you find the domain name uh, click on launch to launch to see you know the things 
for that domain so you can change things around you can change pretty much the name server you want to point that domain to your hosting account so in here in your back office in your host gator control, pan control panel scroll down and on the left sidebar uh, the last one where it says account information you want to uh, see the name servers uh, you are going to use those two so you go back to your GoDaddy and then uh, you know once you open the domain name that you want to use click on name servers or look for the name servers and click on manage alright as you can see I have already done that because you know uh, I didn't buy a domain name from scratch but I'm going to show you I have a subdomain ready uh, to use so you can see the process of installing WordPress alright so as you can see I, I already have my uh, the host gator uh, my domain pointing pointing to host gator so basically what you do is you know you copy and paste you know with your brand new domain and you create a new na uh, name server you know all you do is add new uh, name server and then you just paste and add new you know and you just add it and you do two of those you know you got one right here and then you do the second one copy and paste that's a second name server you know the same process paste it does the second one and then save and now you know uh, GoDaddy is going to tell you to wait a couple of minutes couple of hours before you see the effects taking place um, sometimes it's right away you know sometimes you gotta wait a couple of minutes but you know just to be safe wait a couple of minutes and then come back and do this again so and, and you know and start building the WordPress site so once you have done that now we are done with GoDaddy so close that and now we gotta you know come back to the host gator control panel and once everything is ready here is the domain name I'm going to be using and it's called example WP site that internet internet marketing blog 101.com that is the site I'm going to use to install WordPress right now from scratch and so you can see it and you, as you can see it's empty so once you are here back to HostGator you scroll down like I told you and find the smiley face and click on Fantastico Deluxe that's the name of it and um, that that is a software that is going to let you install WordPress on any website pretty much that you have with HostGator so once you are here click on WordPress um, it's under blogs so on the left side click on WordPress so we can install WordPress in the site alright so now you want to click on new installation because you know we got a brand new blog right so click on it gonna take sticking a little bit all right so now that we're here what you want to do is choose or pick the domain name that you have that the one that you just bought um, I have a lot of uh, a lot of domains so I gotta find one mine the one that I'm using so here it is example WP site all right so you click on the site that you want to where you want to s install WordPress on and then you just fill out the form you know fill out the, the things in here uh, you want a username uh, I'm just gonna put admin and then the password is going to be testing just testing that's it the nickname is going to be Fred alright we're gonna put Fred my email Freddy Jr. tips I already have it there put your email there the site's name I'll put your blog's name name here and then put your blogs description description here all right and then click on install that should only take a couple of minutes and this will be a ready WordPress blog site 
and then you know once that is installed you know you can pretty much you know get creative and do whatever you want you know get familiar with wordpress you know learn how to change things around there's a lot of information out there right here i'm just going to walk you through the simple process to uh you know installing this with hostgator and godaddy if you are somebody brand new who doesn't know anything so all right getting back to hostgator uh we want to click on finish installation all right and that will that will be it all right the next step will be to install the themes and the plugins and that's it and then set everything up to get ready to blog all right and I want to keep this video very short so um, I'm gonna be very quick with everything that I say and feel free to you know always go back and replay the video all right so the, the site is ready here and now we are ready we are done with hostgator we can exit host the, the the page and now let me refresh our new site all right and as you can see the default theme is already good so i'm going to go with that theme all right uh feel free to you know there are thousands of free themes and you can either get a free theme or a paid theme of course the paid themes are always better so what we're going to do now is going to log into our new site all right so the username should be admin right and then I, I think I already have the password ready right there oh oops it's not it so I'm going to put this thing that's it all right so we have logged into our dashboard and as you can see you know when you log in um get familiar with everything and you know snoop around look around and try it everything you know it doesn't matter if you mess up right now you, you have a brand new site so feel free to do whatever you want and you know search for information on the internet you know i'm just going to show you the basics here but um there's a lot of information on how to build a wordpress to to your liking you know so here is the themes here are the themes that you can um you know choose from there are so many themes the ones that I'm um, the one I'm using right now is the default one which is pretty good actually so uh, but feel free to snoop around you know take take your time picking the right theme for you and you can see there are so many and make sure that the theme that you, you choose is a fast loading theme so that is very important you know and if you want to see more uh, fast loading themes uh, you should google maybe you know fast loading wordpress themes but i'm going to be sharing the ones that i use myself the ones that i know are fast loading themes uh, just keep following the blog and, and the information is probably on this page already but uh the theme that i have is this theme right here so what I, what you want to do is maybe customize the theme you know put your your name right here your your title your blog's name name here right you see it over here on the right and then your blog's description right show them here all right so And there we go and then you you can pick the colors you know background the background color the, if you want an image and things like that feature content and but it, once you're done save and publish and this is a very simple theme all right so the next thing you want to do is you know set your blog up right so go to general and here again you can change the title and the and the description as well so there's not not much you can do here and all right the next thing you want to do is go to writing all right this is an important step go to writing and scroll down where you see update services this is where you are going to copy and paste the list I have for you below this video I have a list of all of the ping site you need to put in here so here's the list what you want to do is you know control a and select all of them and then uh, copy all right copy them and then uh, come back here to your new site highlight whatever is in there and then paste alright paste all of that and then save 
what this means is every time you publish a post in your WordPress site on your blog, it, you know, it's going to be automatically uh, pinged to all of these sites, you know, so you can get all of the search uh, organic traffic that you can, you know, every time you have new content, all of these pinging sites are going to be notified and, you know, the search engines are going to come and see your new content. So do that. All right. And I also have a list of the plugins I use. Uh, which uh, they're not too many you know and you don't want to have so many plugins because you want your site to load very fast so you know I try to keep it under 30 plugins so you know here is the list that I have for my own site so feel free to download the list and, f and install all of the plugins that you see here you know I'm not going to go into details about setting each one of the plugins up. I'm going to make another video where I show you a step by step how to set up all of the plugins I have for myself. So uh, when you want to, you know, set up a new plugin, install a new plugin, all you do is come to add new plugin and then search for the plugin that you want. Maybe you want a SEO plugin or you want to install all of, all of the plugins I have here like you know like these let's see SEO ultimate you know that's an, a plugin to uh, you can use to optimize your site your entire site for the search engines so you just come here you know from the list that I'm sharing with you and search for the plugin and install it it's that simple you know install and then activate and do that with the list that I gave you and also feel free to you know to take your time and like I said you know you want to get familiar with the plugins you want to snoop around do your research see what works and stuff like that now the way to monetize your blog is by putting banners right banners and call to actions in a capture form on your site and the best way to do that is you know the best way to build a list with your blog is with a uh, with you know an um, email marketing tool like Aweber alright so go to the link that you see below this video for Aweber, Aweber and get your account for just one dollar you can try it out for a month and you can you know build uh, you know a capture form like the one you see on my blog you see this capture form right here it was built with Aweber and you can you know capture the leads and follow up with them I'm going to have another video to talk about email marketing and talk about how you can use your Aweber account to build a list from your blog alright so that's another subject that's another video I'm going to be recording for you but right now uh, I'm just showing you very quickly the the simple steps to building the blog from scratch. So you want an you want an an inter, um, uh, email marketing tool like Aweber. The one I recommend is Aweber. Feel free to use your own, but uh, if you want to follow everything that I say and everything that I do myself, then get an Aweber account today. And so here are the widgets you know the widget area here is where you play around with you know things on your site you know as you can see you have a widget on the left and a widget on the right right now you don't have anything on the right so what you want to do is you know just put whatever you want on the right you know play around make it look pretty make it look good and see I just changed something uh, on the site and very quickly thanks to the simplicity of WordPress so as you can see you have things on the right things on the left you can put a banner here you know put a banner on the right put a banner on the left put a call to action put like a, a you know capture form like I have right here and you know you gotta look at other sites you know like I said you know you gotta model after other people you know after other blogs so that's the best way to do to to build your own you know uh, see what others are doing and try to do, do the same so uh, take my blog for example I have a capture form on the on the right widget and you know I have another ad advertisement on, you know at the bottom right here as you scroll down I have more advertisement there I ask people to subscribe to my newsletter and I also have a a, um, a static bar where you know people can click on it and you know it takes them to a capture page right so you know just do that you know do the same thing uh, play around with things and see 
uh, you know, how you get the most leads out of your traffic. So that's the best way to monetize your site. You know, look at after other people and do the same. Uh, of course, you know, you want to have banners, you want to have capture form. So this is why you need all of these things, you know, to in order for you to build a successful blog. You know, you need a, a, a email marketing tool, you need, you know, plugins, you need a good theme, you need banners, you need to become an affi affiliate, uh, you know, from uh, ClickBank or something. If you want to sell products, uh, one site that I recommend to get products from and, and sell them, resell them, or, you know, become an affiliate of and get a commission every time you you make a sale, somebody buys from your blog, now go to clickbank.com, get an account, and, you know, just follow everything that they tell you. You know, I'm telling you, all of the information you need is right here. Uh, you can make money with ClickBank. You can make money with uh, Google Ads, you know, you can put Google ads all over your site. Uh, you can also become an affiliate of other things. You know, paid.com is another site like ClickBank where you can, you know, uh, become a member and, and have, you know, sell other people's products, you know, on your site. Uh, you can also do uh, sell products from Amazon.com, for example. So basically, you know, the way to monetize your site is by becoming an affiliate of different products and then have a link on your site, uh, you know, like a banner, a capture form. Uh, but ultimately, what you want to do is capture leads, you know, just focus on capturing leads from your blog. And then maybe you can send them an email about a ClickBank product. You know, you can send them you know information about uh, an affiliate affiliate product that you're that you're you know promoting to your list so you know um so the main goal right now for you will be to right drive traffic to the site and then capture leads and that's something i'm going to be talking about and teaching you uh, on my site but i just wanted to show you real quick how to you know get everything rolling from start you know get going really fast and you saw how fast I built the blog this blog right here you know and pretty much everything else that you need to do is right here uh, you know there's no so much information you need to learn but there's so much action you need to take so get started right now and if you need to replay the video go ahead and, and follow everything all right so until the next video guys i hope this was helpful to you don't forget to share your comments and if you have a question if you want me to make a uh, you know a video about something specific and you want me to go into details about something please leave your comments and your questions below so i know you know what is it that i need to do next to help you get started online because i want you to make money on the internet that is my goal and and that is my mission all right so until the next video guys, see you soon. Thank you for watching this video and following I Am Blog 101. I really hope this video was valuable to you and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the blog and follow us on Twitter, Facebook. And well, I just wanted to you know, show you a quick video about how to build the WordPress site from scratch i wanted to show you over my shoulder you know how the process is done and i'm going to be making more videos in you know to tell you in more details and show you in more details how you build the site you know install the pl plugins set them up how you work on your conversions and stuff like that i'm going to be making uh you know more detailed videos uh soon so make sure you are subscribed and that you get our our updates and well thank you for watching again and i'm going to be uh you know teaching you how to build a blog and take it to success so talk to you soon much success to you